Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Coach Kurt Signetti Show. Jack Benedict with you as we talk IUP Crimson Hogs football after a win over Lock Haven to even the record now at 1-1. One and one. And Kurt, it uh, doesn't matter what you do. When you get a win, you always feel better, don't you? Oh, no <laughs> doubt about that. It was great to get back on the win column. It felt great Saturday night. Yeah. And uh, I thought we made a uh, pretty significant improvement in a lot of areas as a football team. So I was fairly pleased with the way we played. Uh, we got off to a little bit of a slow start, but took control of the game. So, uh, you know, we're back on track. Yeah, the first half, you just had that 10-3 lead, but then you really got to it in the second half yeah. and, uh, and, and just took over the whole ball game. What, right. uh, what did you talk about at halftime? What turned it around? Of course, the interception well, was big, too. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, it was a 3 nothing game with six minutes to go in the second quarter. Our defense had... Uh, forced uh, eight out of nine possessions, uh, forced Lockhaven to punt. And uh, then we got the score on offense uh, at the end of the half, got a field goal to tie it, and then scored right before the end of the half, which gave us momentum. Came out on offense, scored again, then Dorian got the interception, put mm -hmm. us up 24-3. At halftime, everybody knew the emphasis was to really sustain and finish strong. Uh, and uh, I was proud of the way we did. We outscored them 28-10 in the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people contribute when you win a game like mm -hmm. this. Something you really needed. The rushing game, 372 yards, has right, just yeah. been outstanding for you. Yeah, we've had two good uh, Saturdays in the running game, and that's a lot of, lo lot of yards, and the credit goes to the guys up front and the tight ends. Running backs ran well, and uh, so, you know, that part of it was critical for us. And uh, I can't say enough about all those guys and the job they did. Let's talk about the offensive line. You, mm -hmm. You've been using two centers. Yeah. Uh, Cooper, of course, moved to guard. Right. Uh, Gabe Diaz now yeah. is your tab. When you put all these guys together, how did they all, all come together? And they really seem yeah. to be doing the job right yeah, now. Yeah, they've had a chance now for four or five weeks to work together. Once we moved Ethan Cooper back to guard and started alternating Eddie Byer and Kittis. So uh, they've gotten a lot of repetitions together, and they're really starting to gel. You know, for all this spring, well, spring ball, and then going into fall camp, the talk was about the quarterbacks. And not much was said about the running backs. Yeah. But you've got a pretty good stable of running backs, and they're all little unique in their own yeah. way, aren't they? Yeah, we've got good depth at that position. Of course, Chris Temple had a great first game. and. Uh, you know, he got uh, dinged up early in the game, and uh, Luigi, I was glad to see him be able to get on track with some really nice runs. I thought he ran extremely hard. And then we got Drew Harris uh, some work. You know, he's had a long road back. Uh, you know, he's got his own story. And uh, second carry, you know, he popped it for a touchdown run, pretty long touchdown run. Thought he ran well, and then we got Shannon Jackson in at the end of the game, and he had about a 60-yard run. Mm -hmm. So it's good to get guys involved. The more people you can get involved, uh, the better the better it is. Yeah. You know, uh, things that maybe fans don't realize, some of these players, for instance, Chase Haslett is listed as a grad student, but really is only like a sophomore. Right, yeah. You have uh, a story uh, such as Drew Harris, and hadn't played for Tell us a little bit about him. Well, Drew, uh, entering his senior year of high school, was a four-star running back recruit and was being recruited by a lot of the major Division I schools across the country. He blew his knee out early in his senior year, mm -hmm. was committed to Virginia Tech. Because of a clerical error in the guidance office, uh, he was not a qualifier. So he went to prep school for a year, went to junior college for a year, ended up at uh, UMass for a short period of time. It didn't work out for him there, so we got him on the bounce back. and. You know, he, he's shaking off the rust a little bit. And, uh, but, you know, he's starting to pick up on things and his assignments and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the little details of the offense, which are so important. So, you know, I was really happy that he had success. Mm -hmm. We talked about the running game, the passing game. You didn't have the passing yards. You started right. Lenny Williams. Yeah. Chase came in in between uh, the two of them. But you were without two of your wide receivers, too. Yeah, I mean, we three, really. I mean, uh, Gabe Uly. Uh, tweaked his hamstring at the end of the first game, so maybe could have played in an emergency, but he didn't play. Uh, Jordan Brown, uh, you know, he, he uh, got hurt in practice at the mm -hmm. end of the week. He was really coming on. I was really excited uh, to get him on the field Saturday. We had a pretty nice package for him. And uh, so he wasn't able to play. Of course, Sean McVeigh has been out 
for a few weeks. But the, the good news is, I think you know, I think we'll have them all back this week, so we'll, we should be at full strength. Yeah, you're going to have a, a, a test this week with Bursiers. We'll talk about them in just a moment. Last week, special teams was a problem. Yeah, I'm talking about the first week. Great improvement this week, particularly with our snappers and kickers. Um, made a change at punter for this game because Matt Spiegel was really punting the ball well in practice and he just was tremendous in the game. And uh, Ryan Stewart made all five of his PATs and his field goal. And then we kicked the freshman, Sean Bowling, on kickoffs and he did a real nice job. Our punt return team did a really nice job. Walt had a touchdown return for a touchdown long when it got called back yeah. on a penalty. But, you know, I think uh, it was well blocked. You know, there, the, you know, officials are human. They make mistakes. Um, there was no penalty on that play. Mm -hmm. So, and, and our kickoff coverage improved a little bit, too. And we didn't have many opportunities in kickoff return games. So, I was, I, was, I was glad that we made improvement. We still have improvement we can make in all areas of our game. Mm -hmm. Offense, defense, special teams. And in intangible areas. Mm -hmm. Team has a lot of room for improvement, but we're on the right track. You mentioned about penalties and there were many on both yeah. sides how difficult is it in the game when you just get things going and all of a sudden yeah. here's a flag here's a flag there whether they're warranted or not but right. that was tough to get a, a tempo going well offensively that one series we had three penalties which really set us back and for the game I think we had eight Lockhaven had 11 um, so you know we're still trying to cut those down they have come down a little bit and uh, we got to keep getting better in that mm -hmm. area Defense. Uh, defense holds the team to uh, 13 points. Yeah. Uh, you had some outstanding play over there. Hi highlight some of those guys. Guys up front played very well. Uh, both linebackers, Dorian Lane, Kevin Clark, played extremely well. Jay Watkins had a really good game. And I thought all our secondary guys really took a step forward. Um, so, you know, they sc we scored a touchdown on defense again. And, uh, yeah. you know, so, you know, we did much better but, against the pass. You know, that was a problem last year. You didn't get that many interceptions or, uh, you know, that many turnovers from the opposition. This year you're starting to force things. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly helps. We've always been great in the turnover ratio mm -hmm. in the past. And uh, last year, you know, it flipped on us completely. So we're starting to get those takeaways on defense. I wasn't very happy with the turnovers on offense. We've got to do a better job protecting the football when we're carrying it high and tight. And we got stripped a couple times, mm -hmm. and, you know, that can't happen. Yeah. Uh, with the depth on this team, you said there's more depth. We can see it, too, even with a lot of these young players. That's so important, especially, isn't it, on a day like that? Because it was brutal as oh, far yeah. as the temperature. Yeah, it was hot. and We played a lot of guys. Uh, fortunately, we practiced in the hot weather all week long, and we worked them hard. I thought our guys were really strong at the end. I mean, we kind of called the dogs off a little bit. We played a little slow on offense the last quarter and a half. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when a game ended, uh, I think we still had a lot in our tank, you know, if we needed it. So I think our conditioning level has improved and, uh, you know, needs to continue to improve. Yeah. Uh, that fourth quarter is so important, isn't it? Oh, it's, <laughs> and it's all, it's all in their head because everybody's tired at that point And mm -hmm. it really comes down to your will and your ability to concentrate and focus one play in, uh, one play in, in and out. And, yeah. You know, the great competitors... They can compartmentalize one play at a time, you know, and yeah. focus and do their job. And that's what it comes down to. It's called mental toughness. Mercyhurst, the Lakers, undefeated, 3-0. and You brought up a point to me I completely forgot. Yeah. Last loss was to IUP last year at home? Yeah, we beat them 41-7. We're up 41 nothing early in the third quarter and, and once again kind of called off the dogs. But they have not lost a football game since then. Uh, and they've beaten Westchester this year. They've beaten Bloomsburg. They're playing really well. It's their homecoming. You know, they got a lot of confidence right now. So, you know, it's going to be a good challenge for us. And, uh, you know, on offense, they got a lot of seniors at the playmaker positions. Quarterback's a senior. Both receivers, one's a transfer from Seton Hill, was all conference last year. Mm -hmm. You know, the other receiver, both last name Williams, uh, was a really good player for him. The tight end's a senior. Uh, the running back's a senior. Uh, now up front, they're a little young, but they're throwing the ball really well right now. And on defense, I think they're much improved. I think the linebacker core is really upgraded, uh, and their their key players on defense are seniors too. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a big challenge for us. Do they do anything defensively that's 
I mean, you see about everything if you yeah, see they, enough games. They played the same defense for the last four years. They're a three-three stack team, and you know they'll blitz, and but they have not changed much defensively. What really turned it around for them last year was the stepping up the quarterback yeah. seems to really have come along. I think the quarterback caught fire. They settled in on a quarterback. He, he does a great job of throwing the ball on rhythm, gets it out of his hand real fast. I think they settled in on a couple pass concepts, too, that you saw week in, week out. Mm -hmm. And uh, they gained confidence. And, you know, once you gain confidence, you can get on a roll. We can't overemphasize how important games are. So now we get in the PSAC West and the matchups on the roads. That's the bottom line. I think everybody knows what this game is going to be about. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a tough test, but you'll know a lot about your team, won't you? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. So I'm very confident we're going to respond, play well. I'm looking forward to the game. I know our players will be looking forward to the game. I think we'll have a great, great week of preparation. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good game. Early in the week, uh, uh, this is early in the week when we're doing this. You mentioned you, you believe the receivers will be back. Uh, did, did it look pretty good injury-wise? You came out of that game. I know they're dead. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Matt Moed ended up playing the second half yeah. of last week's game. So, and we get the wideouts back, and you know we're we're pretty healthy. All right. Hey, good luck, Kurt, as we go to Erie. Okay. Thanks, Jack. All right. Kurt Signetti is with us each and every week. IUP now one and one. The game is one o'clock. If you're headed to Erie to see the game between IUP and Mercyhurst, and we'll be back with the coach next week to talk about it. This is Jack Benedict for the coach. Uh, we wish you a very good evening. Thank you.